Okay, everyone, before the show starts, I just want to say if you could head over to drupalstudios.wixsite.com slash drupalstudios, link is in the description, it's our new website. Uh, basically, all just about our games and stuff like that. Anyway, enjoy. Hey everyone, it's me Scorchpick here. I am um, well, welcome to part nine of the Scratch tutorial. I know it's been a long time. We've just had some issues we've been sorting out. I will be taking over this series now. Well, at the moment, I don't know whether Saxima will return to it, but he's off making other games and stuff. That's the last time I spoke to him about this. That's what he said. So, uh, first things first. I think this episode we're just going to go through cleaning up some code. And then maybe making it so you can, the tree will give you some wood whenever you click it. But first, let's just go by clearing off some code. So right click and just click clean up blocks on literally everything. Uh, now you're probably thinking, oh yeah, all that does is just neaten it up a bit, which is what we want. Some nice clean blocks. Now you don't have to do this, but I'm just going to do it just to make things look a bit nicer. Easier to find and stuff as well. So all you've got to do is just scroll down a bit. Some of these I have already done. There's a few bugs we're going to go through as well. But yeah, apart from that, we're not going to do much major for our returning episode. But um, hopefully this episode we will hopefully add sticks. Next episode I kind of want to go through animations. And then after that, and another episode we might do... Um, Crafting system, like a very basic one. We'll get more in depth later in the series. But yeah, okay, just for now. Anyway, I've cleaned up all the blocks. Now, first thing we're going to do is just play the game to see what problems we have and what needs fixing. So we're just going to try and break the game in every aspect. In every in every aspect. So we'll click play. It loads. Now I had to follow our own series, so I might have some bugs which you might not, and you might have bugs which I might not. Now Saxima did this and it worked perfectly for him, so that means we've made some mistakes if if any of us have bugs. Well, there will be bugs, but like any bugs which we don't want. So let's just load in. That's good. Okay, so we do load in. It kind of plays our audio into the game, but that's not too bad. E and R closes our inventory, that's good. Now Okay, we got a rock, which is good. We do lose hunger, which is good. Coconuts up there, which we need to fix, which, trust me, we will. Uh, now we'll go into water. By pressing spacebar. Um, okay, we can't open our inventory in water, which is good, actually. That's kind of a nice feature. We can swim up and down, which is good. Um, go back to land. We have this, which needs fixing. And you can't go back to land, so that's kind of... Right, you get screwed over. So, let's fix the first problem with the coconut. So, the way we're going to do this is simply not do that. We're just going to go over to the... To the um, game screen tab. Like your main game screen, so game screen 2 tab. And you're going to want to play the game actually because I just realized the tree is a sprite and you want it, this tree to be there, to exist kind of thing. Um, There will be some more stuff we will be working on in the series, which is going to be pretty vital with water movement, but we'll get into that in a few episodes time anyway so now collect the coconut which we're gonna test hunger i know we will need to sort out the coconut but all we'll do for that is just show it again so let's test out hunger so we'll wait for our hunger bar to go down we'll make it go down twice actually just to make sure it's not giving you any extra hunger than what it should be Now, we will be improving this in the future, but just for now, it's alright. There we go. E, coconut. Okay, we can't eat the coconut. Now, why could this be? 
when this sprite clicked, oh, it's because I've got this detached. It's not detached, that's why. Okay, now that should work, so sorry about that. Oh, that's another thing we're going to fix right now. Is when green flag clicked, we just want to hide the, these variables. Hide coconuts and hide rocks. Because these are showing now. No, there we go. Now if we click play, that's a couple of bugs already fixed. And still pick stuff up. We might change this ghost effect a little, because it's a bit dim. Like down here and stuff, so. Okay, we'll now make sure we go down to hungers. Okay. We'll also make it so hunger goes randomly rather than just every 15 seconds. There we go. Uh, coconut, eat. And it says no, you can't do that. So let's go fix that. Why does it say no, you can't do that? Where's the no, you can't do that being broadcasted? Error message. Broadcast error message. I don't see any reason why it's not. Oh, it's co if coconuts equals zero. Okay, yeah, yeah, so I see the problem here. So the way we're going to fix this is because what it's saying is if the coconuts, if you run out of coconuts, it's saying error message, well, which we don't want. We just want it to say that if you're out of coconuts and go to the hunger bar, uh, we can completely remove this stuff down here and just keep it like that because we don't need that, honestly. Um... Now we need to find where the broadcast error message is, which is in Sprite 1, which we haven't actually renamed, I haven't renamed it. We can remove that and, and that, we can completely delete that sprite, because we don't really need it. I'm sure the player can know whether or not they're low on hunger. Um, hunger bar, we'll get to in another thing. But now we will test out... So what about testing? We'll test out... Eating coconuts normally now, make sure it definitely still works. Just, you know, get the basic hunger bar thing down. Honestly, I don't think scripting is going to get ba that bad at all in the series. I think the worst it will get in the whole series is if we make a save. But I think the work, yeah, so... Anyway, let's collect this stone coconut now we won't eat any <clears throat> anything yet that's another thing to test out in a minute just make sure that this works first okay boom yep works and now we've got to make sure that you know there's no glitches and that will just give you infinite so just kind of move around and the note doesn't work awesome so now we'll make sure we'll do another test. Now I will be skipping like the, all these loading screens, but we'll do another test. I might not skip this one because I'll talk over it. But we'll do another test to make sure that you can't just eat when you're already full, because otherwise it's a waste of coconuts and whatnot, which we don't really want. We will be adding oxygen bars as well at some point. We'll probably do that when we improve the hunger bar system as well. We just did the same, but with oxygen. So we'll collect this, we do need to fix the coconut. Okay, and you can eat it. So what we need to do is if coconuts is bigger than zero and no and 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 then a not, okay, we're gonna want this. And and then not we need to also drag into it. So what we'll say is if coconuts is bigger than zero and not coconuts equals oh sorry 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 and not coconuts equals five because that's saying if our hunger is full and not sorry so i'm trying to figure this one out uh where is it where is it where is it, where is it? hunger equals five so now what it's saying is i believe this is just saying if our coconuts is bigger than zero, so, you know, we actually have some, and your hunger is not equal to five, then it's saying, yep, we're all set to go. You can now eat your coconut. 
So now we'll do another test, make sure this should stop us from being able to eat coconuts when our health is full. If you want that to be a feature, sure, just don't have this bit here. Yeah, it will not let us eat it now. So we'll try again in a sec. Whoops, I accidentally dragged the sprite off the table. We'll try again when our hunger bar's gone down. Just collect that. Oh, it's gone down. And now it lets us eat it. So that's good, that's good. We've practically fixed that. Only thing now is we've just got to switch to that final backdrop again through playing to make sure all the things disappear and reposition the coconut. Because if you look in here, we got this thing here, this here, which honestly doesn't need to exist. We don't need this. So we can actually remove this inside of the coconut. Make sure you remove that. Next, you want to go up to motion and we'll wait for this to finish first. Okay, now we'll stop it. You want to reposition your... It just disappeared, so now we have to click show. I don't want to play it. <laughs> it's not going to work, is it? No. Awesome, right, okay, show, 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 show. Now what we're going to do is simply detach that so I can move it around. So if you can't move it around because it just keeps clicking, it just completely just detach this from the one this sprite clicks. Now reposition that to be there, or wherever you want it to be. I'll put it there. And like I say, we'll make this better in the future, but just for now, but very basic beginner stuff. And now we'll reattach that as well. Um, we want to make one green flag clicked, go to, and then the position it's currently in. I'm just going to right click and clean up blocks again. Keep doing that every now and then. And that basically just fixes our thing from being all the way up there. So, it's pretty much it for bugs, I think. Minus the swimming. Yeah, yeah. So when you go into the water, which is this backdrop here. If you press space to leave the water, then it doesn't send you back, it just sends you back to the water, which kind of sucks. Now, we will improve water systems, there's a lot we've got to do. But let's start with the simple, and we've got to work on the simple, fix the simple bug where we can't press space to get back. So, the way we do this is if we go back drops, uh, that was not it character here 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 when space key pressed now we duplicate this and drag it into the cat's under now make sure you get it into the cat under where you can do this without it like going all weird like that is just click on this button here and then you can scroll down and put it in character under and then you can just click it back if you want and now we can Delete this duplicate. We didn't actually have to duplicate it. Just we could have just dragged this original one. But um we'll go over to cat under. We'll have this new space key pressed thing. We may already have one in here. I'm not sure. Oops. No, we don't. Right, so now what we want is when space key pressed. But first, what we want to do is when space key pressed, if we need an if, it's very important because otherwise you're going to get all sorts of bugs going around. Uh, if, then what we want is an operator, an equal operator, back to looks, if backdrop number equals, and then you want to go down to your backdrops to find out what it is, which is that number here, equals six which is in our case it's number six so when backdrop if backdrop number equals six whoops six not five then hide switch backdrop to loading wait two to four switch backdrop to game screen two so now we should have that done I'll put it on big screen just so we can see it fully with our my amazing plane i drew Now, 
I want to try and make these quite, you know, simple and stuff and easy. We've got to hide the, the stuff as well on the loading screen. But, um, it should now send us back. Okay, awesome. Right. Doesn't work, so let's fix that. <laughs> if backdrop number. Yeah, if backdrop number. We need a, I think we need a forever. If backdrop number equals six. Now if we was to try it. Now, this is all, like, we, I want to try and make these videos as short as possible, but there's like, with, there's quite a lot to go through because this is, on Scratch, you've also got to completely design sprites as well. Whereas with something like Unity, which I'm better at, to be honest, it's, you know, it's not really very hard to design stuff, like buttons and that. Um, so anyway, so we press space, it loads us, we've got to fix this, which we'll do in a minute. Awesome, so we can't use the forever. So, what we want, what? There's another way I think we can do this, is what we can do. When backdrop switches to, and then we need our game screen free. If, and now we need a key pressed, okay. If, space, key, pressed. Now we're going to add in a wait in here just to make sure that, you know, stuff doesn't get weird in here. Just wait one second. If, space, key, pressed. Then, hide, switch backdrop to loading. Wait two to four seconds, switch backdrop to game screen two. Now if we try this again, please work. If this doesn't work, I'm going to cry. It should work. Please work. <laughs> and then after this, we will drop my mouse on the floor. Then after this, we will probably work on the tree giving you sticks. Alright, so let's go. Click space. It should actually send us in there now. It does. Click space again. It's not working, which is awesome. <sighs> So we need another key to be pressed, basically. So we need a win backdrop. To, uh, yeah, we want when backdrop switches to game screen free. Wait one second. We don't actually need that. We can get rid of that. If and now we need a different key rather than space because space is not working. If space key pressed, it should work. But we'll try and make it something else. So if, rather than space, we may say B key pressed, not A, B. Then it'll switch back up to loading, and then back to game screen 2. Please, please, for the love of God, work. I'm pressing both A and space bar and B, nothing's... There's a bug. That's awesome, just what we need, you know. Alright, there we go. What on earth is it? Oh, okay, that's a big problem. <laughs> now, there's a way we can do this with variables, which we'll get into, but... If this doesn't work... Why is it showing? When does it show? When does it first show? It's just the game's going free. I yes B. B B, come on, B, B, B. Oh, it's not working. Awesome. That is sick. Maybe we've got to put in a forever into here. Okay, there's one other way we're going to do this. 
we're gonna have to make a variable and we're gonna call this underwater ball ball is true or false variables basically I just thought we'd put ball there because it makes sense uh, we want to make set uh, ball, 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 underwater ball variable to one. If, and then what we do is forever, or repeat until, and then we just won't put anything in there basically. If And now we have to duplicate this again, put it into there, and this bit doesn't need to exist. If, and I believe we can just put that, we'll keep those B for now. So we'll put this one here, and then we'll say if, um, where's the variable, where's the, uh, but first we need to go to operators then to get the equals operator. And say if underwater ball equals one, then, Oh, whoops, I we'll put that on the wrong thing. Then if B key pressed, and this should now work. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna completely cry. Uh, if this doesn't work, what a rip. I've been recording for 33 minutes. Alright, okay, so we're in. We press spacebar. Sends us to the thing. We press B. And it works, finally. Thank God for that. Right. Now, if we press B. Now, if we set this back to spacebar. This probably won't work because we've just changed it mid-thing, but. Oh, hang on. Right, now we go over to character, and we go... Now what we do is basically the exact same in here. So we'll grab this, put it into character, we'll go to character, we'll grab the, the script that we just put in, which is just kind of weird. Right, there we go. Put it over here, whatever. With space key press, which is the loading. We'll delete that, because we don't need it anymore. Now, so in space key press, if underwater equals zero, we don't need that set to anymore. What we do need though is backdrops, and now on one green flag clicked, set underwater ball to zero. So it's kind of like true or false sort of thing. To actually, we might actually just be able to set true. It's just better if you just put zero. It's quite cool. So now I do believe this should work. Please work if this works. What a legend! There will be bugs. We will fix them in future episodes. This video has already been 35 minutes of me recording. It probably won't be that long for you with cutting out and stuff. Alright, now press spacebar, it works. Press spacebar again. That might just be because they're the exact same key, that's my mistake. Press B, I need to restart the stupid program. Wait, no, 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 I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. Space, and then this one has to be B. Yeah, it's because they're the same. Right, awesome! So there's our underwater bug fixed. So don't spam it because otherwise you get problems. Awesome! Right, I think that'll pretty much do us here. Now, obviously we never got to make the tree sticks. We'll do that next episode. We're going to do quite a bit, but it's fine. So yeah, we'll do that next episode. See you next episode.